started actually in 1978 with 200 milk cows on their own. And now at the main dairy here we're milking 1,900 cows and at the secondary we're milking 1,100 cows. My name is Jason Sheehan, I'm a dairyman in Sunnyside, Washington. So two years ago we had one freestall barn that had no cooling in it whatsoever. And we went through a hot spell and noticed from the milk meters in the, in the barn that we were down 20 pounds per cow in that pen, but the other pen with the old style cooling was only down 10. So we knew we had to do something. And I had heard a lot about the newer technology with the soakers rather than the misters. All the rest of our pens had misters in them. And so rather than doing the same thing and getting the same result, we decided to try something new that other dairymen in the area as well as hotter regions of the country like California have been doing with the soakers. So we put soakers in the one pen, kind of just a quick setup to see how it went. And then we continued to follow the milk production in that pen. And as we had more heat waves and hot temperatures, that pen never seemed to drop near as much as the rest of the dairy. Everybody involved with this, our main focus is to take care of the cows. That's what we're here to do. And we have a true passion for cows and, and their well-being. And when, uh, when it's 100 plus, even when it's 90 out, you know, cows' ideal temperature is in the 40s. So anytime we're elevating to where you or I are uncomfortable because of the heat, the cow is extremely uncomfortable. Everything that we do is for the cow, but when, it's, when we challenge the cow, we also challenge our workforce because everything becomes more difficult. Not only are the people uncomfortable when it's 110 degrees out, the cows are extremely uncomfortable and the health issues increase, so it becomes a lot more work to care for them. It is, a, it's a twofold. It's very, it takes the stress off the cow, which in turn takes the stress off the people. The cooling system is uh, different than your uh, mister system that was maybe a, a thought of the past. This is called a soaker system that puts a, a fairly large amount of water on the cow and it, it goes in a, a series of it's on for a uh, short time and then it's off for three or four minutes. Depending on the temperature, it's controlled by PLC. It kind of runs itself. We turn it on at 75 degrees, and it's on for 30 seconds uh, inside under shade and for 40 seconds outside in the sun, depending on which pen it's in. And then it's off for 14 minutes. Once the temperature gets up to 80 degrees, it goes to a 10-minute cycle time, so it's off for 10 minutes in the same on times. And then once it gets over 90 degrees, it stays on for off for four minutes in the same 30 and 40 second run times depending on the pen. That's been nice because the more water you create, the more water you've got to handle with your manure system, and that's one of the downsides of it. So we want to make sure that we're doing enough to cool the cows, but not too much to have more water to deal with on the backside with the manure system. The preg rate through the summer has been significantly higher than it has in previous summers after the installation of the soakers. We have last summer's data and then part, part of this summer's data already to look at and in comparison with what it was in previous years it's considerably higher and so we've seen good success both in maintaining intake for the cows, in maintaining milk production and in improving reproduction. So we're continually impressed with, with the cows and how well they respond. You can tell immediately on milk production that they like it, that they're cool and then the reproduction is something that you never know what's going to happen until later in the year, but we've seen positive results on both and it's positive enough results to know that the system's paid for itself. I think if you're considering a system like this, you have to make sure that you have the capability of taking care of the water on the other end. Um, that's probably the, the most significant impact that it has outside of the cows. And now that we have the equipment in place and we've learned a few things on you know, how things are going to flow, where we're going to go, and, and how we're going to deal with it, it's going very smooth. Uh, the system, once it's installed, is fairly low maintenance. There's not a lot of operating costs that are involved with it. So even though the upfront cost may be fairly large, it can be amortized over a considerable number of years. Uh, so that helps reduce the cost per year and the cost per cow because it's in place for a long time. The return investment is very high. It's definitely worth the investment for us on the, the difference in the milk we lost. Um, before and after. We figured it paid for itself in the first summer alone. And then you add in the reproduction benefits of it and it's, it's a quick, pretty quick payback. And, and then you just see the, the health of the cows and, and how much happier the cows seem to be through the summer. And anytime it's hot, you're already out working it yourself, much less your cows being out there miserable through it. So if most dairymen, anything they can do to keep their cows happier and healthier and, 
that it's going to be good for them all the way around. And that's probably the primary focus we're looking at is how to make the cows more comfortable.